Hello, I'm Lewis and I'm a podiatrist at East Coast Podiatry and today we're talking about posterior tibial tendon dysfunction or PTTD. PTTD is a very common foot and ankle condition that affects adults and children and it's the number one cause of adult acquired flat foot. Now posterior tibial tendon dysfunction refers to an overuse injury um, which means the muscle is overworking and it's injuring on a regular basis so normally with physical activity you will injure the tendon and it can't heal itself as fast so we eventually end up with an injury so what we, what we see with my patients they will complain of pain around this part here or the attachment to the the arch of the foot and also extending from the ankle up the leg to the uh, to the calf muscles as well now what happens is the posterior tibial tendon is responsible for maintaining the arch of the foot and actually connects to this bone here called the navicular. What we see is every time that we run and walk, our foot will flex and relax, flex and relax. As we increase our physical activity, of course, this flexing and relax motion increases, of course. So your symptoms will directly correspond with the physical activity. So most of my patients, all we want to know is number one, what's wrong, how bad is it, and can we fix the problem and in most cases posterior tibial tendon dysfunction can be addressed and fixed with conservative treatment so the main thing we want to do is identify the problem so based on your history and a physical examination uh, we may often use ultrasound as well to assess the quality of the tendon and check if there's any damage there so once we've worked out that pttd is the problem we want to work out the severity and that in turn um, relates to what treatment is needed. Now, if it's an acute injury, let's say we've been running the last couple of days, we've increased our activity and we've got a bit of pain and swelling to the foot and ankle. What we would normally do is we would advise you to rest, apply ice, uh, elevate the foot and compression as well will all help to reduce the acute inflammation. If this is more of a long-term problem and it's been going on for many weeks, sometimes months, what we want to do is we need to uh, treat it differently. And we would do that normally with a combination of focal shockwave therapy um, like this. And what we would do is the shockwave accelerates your body's natural healing process. So there's no pain, no injections, no surgery, and will stimulate your body to heal itself. Um, it does take a couple of sessions, but of course, depending on how bad the injury is, depends how many sessions we need to do. Most cases need between four to six sessions, but some patients with a very severe case may need more. Most of my patients, what we want to do is we want to help support the arch and address the root cause. So. Let's say you're a hypermobile flat foot, which means your foot is flat like this, uh, the arch is collapsed, okay, and your ankle joints and your ligament is loose. What we want to do is we need to support that arch and stabilize the foot. And we would do that with custom insoles inside the shoe. So what we want to do is we design a custom insole that's designed specifically for you. It will only ever fit you and it will be custom made. So depending on your height, your weight, your activities, the footwear, it needs to be right for you. If it's too soft, it will feel nice, but it won't do anything. If it's too hard, it won't be comfortable and you won't use it. So it needs to be custom made. Basically with posterior tibial tendon dysfunction, we address number one, the root cause, and also treat the symptoms and the pain that you're experiencing. Um, to prevent it from coming back, we would use the custom insole inside the, uh, the footwear and also uh, the right footwear is also important as well. So we'd look at what shoe you're wearing currently, can it be improved, is, is there something better that would, would help you out? Uh, and that's the key to preventing this from becoming an issue. So we want to treat the issue, prevent it from coming back. And that's the main goal of treatment here. So we want to work together through treatment, through education and knowledge to get you back to exercise and ultimately get you back to your, to your goal. So let's say you've got a marathon coming up, you want to lose some weight, exercise. All of my patients tell me these sort of things every single day. And regardless of, of what, what it means to you, if you're exercising, the marathon's coming up, we want to get you fixed and work together to get you to that goal. And we would do that by treating it once properly with the right treatment and that's enough to get rid of your symptoms and prevent it from bothering you. 
So if you feel that you have posterior tibial tendon dysfunction or you may be suffering from this foot and ankle pain that we've talked about today, you do need to seek the attention of your podiatrist for a thorough assessment, treat it right from day one and prevent it from becoming a much, serious, uh, much more serious condition. If this video has been useful, please let me know in the comments below. And if you've got any questions at all about the treatment we've discussed today, the advice that we've given, please let me know and we'll address it in our upcoming videos. Thank you. For more information on related conditions, check out our other videos.